Ah, oh, Cody. Video number three of the six part series exploring OPO6 cases and confirming that the bottom of the cases are more lit because so far every box that we've pulled from the bottom of the case has had two hits, I mean three hits, and all the top boxes have only had two hits. But we did see a video where the treasure rare Nami got pulled in a box that only had one other secret rare in it, which suggests, bless him, that it is a top case, top uh, top of the case box. Um, so if you're looking for treasure Nami, treasure Nami's more likely going to be in a top box. And at this point, these two boxes in this video are both going to have alternate art leaders. We are calling it right now. If our theory is correct and the mapping is real, then the bottom of the boxes have the alt arts and the SP and the top of the bo the top of the case. And what I mean by that is when you open up a case, right? When you crack a case open and you're looking straight down at it and it's oriented in the right direction, meaning the text on the outside of the case is in the right direction. And the boxes are facing up. Those top boxes are the top of the case, those top six boxes. And the boxes underneath those, the bottom six boxes are the bottom of the case. Ooh. Two Moria leaders in one case? Dang, I mean, it's a good leader, but I want a Yamato. I would really like a Yamato, please. I still have not pulled Yamato. I pulled so many Japanese Yamatos, it's like I couldn't stop pulling Japanese Yamatos. But in English, Yamato is escaping me. There's our Zoro, and there should be one alt art in this box. That's been the trend. So I haven't seen a Tashigi alt art, actually. The Tashigi alt art in Japanese looked really sick. I think we're missing Tashigi. I haven't pulled the, the Vinsmoke Bro. I think one of the Vinsmoke Bros comes in an altar. I don't know which one it is. And I think, oh, and Hiyori. I haven't pulled a Hiyori altar either. So would love to see those altars. Who knows if we will, if we can, if it's possible. Um, and, and, and any amount of Reiju altars also. I'll take infinite Reiju altars gladly. But that hurts to get two altar leaders in the case. I, I would hope that, you know, I guess that's happened before. And especially since there's only six altar leaders now. All right, so we're getting close. Is this the altar here? Boom, nope. We got two more shots. I think, unless our case is, our, our theory is wrong. Do we bless them, the altar? Are we that good? We bless them as an altar leader recently. There should be an alternate art in here, and it's right here. Tashiki. Nice. I was just talking about her. Cool. Very cool. The foiling, the texture is like so sick. It's such a fun card to look at. I love how fun they make these cards to look at. It's really, 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 really good stuff. All right, sleeve these up, and then we got one more box from the bottom. There is going to be an alternate art leader in here. I am hoping it is Yamato. Please, 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 please be Yamato. It would be so cool if it was. But the only way to find out is to shrip them this box. There's no other possible way to know if it's Yamato in here or not. We just have to slice this thing open. Santoryu Tatsumaki style. Yeah, all the other alt art leaders we've pulled by now. So I'm fine with not pulling anymore, bless them. But just Yamato, if you could please. And I would be very, very surprised now if Yamato, if it's not an alt art leader in this box, I would be astonished to say the least or the most or the least of the most or whatever. To say a lot, I would be absolutely astonished if it was not a Yamato in here. I still am trying to figure out if Zoro takes a uh, alt slot or a secret slot. I'm assuming it takes an alt slot. I'm pretty sure no matter what you get eight regular secret rares per case. I think because I think that any any version that's not a regular secret rare I think they consider that to just be an alternate art and um, so that would mean it would take an alternate art slot, which would mean you could find it in a top or bottom box, I think. I think it's how that would work, but not sure. 
We just have to find out. I feel like it's, oh, Absalom. We haven't pulled this guy. Nice. I think it's gonna be one more alt art in this box and the alt art leader. And if the alt art leader could just be Yamato, would be such a pleasure, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I know, I would too. So cool, one Absalom. And I think he's I think he's a staple in like Moria and um, Perona. I think they play that card. I don't know exactly. Should we read what he does? Let's see what he, let's see what this man does. Absalom. You may return two cards from your trash to the bottom of your deck in any order KO, something two or less. That's good. You get a body on board, he has counter power. You just need to reduce cost. It's great that they're uh, banning gigantic meteor or whatever. The card was a problem. Oh, our alt art? No, I keep thinking this card's an alt art. Usually every set there's one SR that whenever I open it, I think it's an alt art. And I think it's Aramaki in this set. I think he's the one that's gonna get me every time. Reiju also looks pretty special back there. Oh, no, regular Perona. All right, we're getting close. Alt art leader should be coming up. Here it is. Come on, Yamato. Come on, Yama bro. Yamato energy harnessed, please. Oh, Hody. Dang it, man. Come on, dude. I already got you. And I never want to play you. I don't think, actually, I should try the deck before I say that. Hiori and our alt art. It's, it could be a secret rare, but hopefully it's an alt art. I hope, I'm hoping it's an, oh yeah, Hiori. Yes, did not. So there, there's a there's a happy ending to our Shrippum story because I haven't pulled Hiori yet. So nice to have an alt art Hiori. Anyway, thanks for checking it out. This was our weekly Shrippum. I am a dentist. I can't end without a dental tooth tip. My dental tooth tip to you would be don't forget to brush your teeth at night. It's worth it. It's really important. I know some people are better about brushing their teeth in the morning and not at night, but it's really important to brush at night because what happens is all the food that you eat throughout the day gets stuck to your teeth and then bacteria get attracted to that food. They eat it, they produce acid that breaks down tooth structure and that's how you get cavities. So you gotta get that teeth, that food off your teeth before you go to sleep. It's really important. Thanks for coming by. Get a uh, Sonicare Protective Clean 7100. That's the best brush. See y'all next week.